Actually, uh, uh, Somalia has been uh, in the crosshairs uh, for some time in terms of the uh, the Al-Shabaab leadership has been on the drone strike uh, list uh, for some time uh, because they have uh, been running uh, major terrorist uh, uh, strikes. Uh, They've killed huge numbers of people. Uh, The country has just been devastated with the uh, continuing uh, violence. uh, So uh, really, they're just a, uh, they're on the target list. It's just like being on America's most wanted in terms of terrorism. And for years now, we've been uh, trying to do strikes uh, on the leadership uh, in terms of phone intercepts or whatever. So uh, I wouldn't consider this really a a change of policy. Uh, The strike is just an indication that somebody there made a mistake and didn't switch phones uh, quickly enough and often enough that they were able to get somebody's uh, location. Uh, But then again, I I also, we have tremendous sympathy for the uh, Somali people, uh, even after they did that uh, uh, splitting up the country and trying to divide it, and they, it it looked like they appeared to try to split the oil resources. Uh, You have a country like that where there's no real industry, there's no sources of income, uh, the oil in the ground is the, is the only future that a lot of people think that they really have. And they also think that that's worth fighting and killing people for, and we will do anything that we have to do to, to get control over the oil. And in the meantime, uh, the poor people of the country, uh, you know, they're, uh, they're being treated like uh, uh, these rebels, like they're invading armies. Uh, it's, it's just been absolutely horrible treatment. So uh, we hope, uh, but unfortunately, these groups, uh, no matter so far what gets done to them, uh, if leaders get knocked off, they just are replaced by someone else. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any, any solution. Uh, and the political solutions, whenever they have a ceasefire, it lasts anywhere from 24 hours to maybe a week or maybe a month, and then something happens and they just go back to fighting. So uh, we pray for the Somali people. Uh, they have suffered just just way, way too much, uh, a failure of leadership, greed, militancy, uh, religious extremism. Uh, it's just one of the saddest places in the world now.